This is Leonard from T.O.B. And you got Gary's from Gary's Paint Booth. And we are the T.O.B. Brothers. Straight out of Roanoke, Virginia. And what does T.O.B. mean, Gary? Thinking outside this box. We are thinking outside this box. We do have a box here. Now this is the 1980 Batmobile. Now this box um, I got from eBay. And it's made by Horizons. Uh, and I uh, bought it for the, for the Batmobile itself. And uh, this is not an ordinary model, is it, Gary? Nope, it's all resin. This is all resin. Now, we were going to do a kit review, but uh, Gary, uh, Gary and I decided we we're going to paint this one first. So we um, we're doing a kit review and a build a, a first build review. So Gary took this to his paint shop, and he's going to talk to you a little bit about what it what it takes to paint a resin uh, model. So Gary, uh, let's talk about what the prep work and what you had to do to make this happen. Okay, first of all on this, I had to soak it about 24 hours in um, tire bleach, where you clean like well, eight walls on a car. Tire, let it soak to get all the oils and impurities out of the resin. Then give it a good bath. About five or six coats of primer and then start laying the paint down and it is a paint nightmare and the paint is the Tamiya Blue XX4 with um, zero paints um, diamond clear do you want to get the body out? Here let's we go. get this body out Gary oh just did an a fantastic job on this um, and uh, it is just a uh, shining blue the wind and just came off that's okay I can fix that but look at that isn't that now the thing about resin kits these are solid kits these are there is absolutely no room for me to hide lights or put lights on there um, but body weighs probably about a half a pound yeah this is a really uh but he put the decals on there and he shot it some more clear on there didn't you gary yes sir and that's how you uh put on some uh, clear now the other thing you're going to get with this um you're going to get these parts here with for the tires uh he's going to still uh, paint those aluminum uh, up for you and of course we got some other parts here for the interior and uh, the clear plastic uh, shield, we don't want to unseal that because that's definitely going to, uh, uh, until we're ready to put that on there. But um, there's some other little parts here that you're going to have to deal with. Like I said, we did take this uh, apart and we did, uh, well, we didn't take it apart, we definitely, these are actually feels like they're metal parts. So, yeah, almost like a the cast aluminum yeah so you're gonna have to really be yep cast aluminum everything in this car is heavy and solid this is the um, cockpit why don't you tell them about what how you painted that oh uh, the cockpit it was primed then I used uh, the Tamiya flat black and look at that and that gonna look nice that just snaps right in the if, the pieces fit in there really, really well. Yeah, just like a puzzle. Just like a puzzle. Um, solid resin kit. But but so. you do want to use a mask when you're doing sanding, drilling. Because you don't want that dust to get in your lungs. Yeah, these resin parts, uh, this resin uh, model is not something you want to be drilling or anything without masks. So we got a lot of other little parts here. Um, just look, I'm going to actually get my little flashlight, look at that, there are a lot of gauges and gadgets right there, well I can really light that up, if, but that's solid, if that wasn't solid resin I'd be lighting all that up with some fiber optics, but uh, we got some decals, I think I got some other decals here, uh, but there's just, those are solid pieces and I have nowhere in there to hide lights or Put lights. That's a little disappointing, but um, and of course the the black turbine there um, and some other 
uh, parts you put on the outside and inside of the car. So you're going to, uh, when you get this kit, you want to be careful with the painting. You definitely want to be careful if you start doing any kind of uh, drilling and things of that nature. But the resin kits, Gary had to figure out what's the best way to deal with this kit when it comes to painting. And he did a fantastic job. Well, thank um, you. Like, the fin did come out, but I can fix that. It's just a little super glue there. But uh, it is shiny blue, and I am really impressed with this. So we are going to build this 1980 model Batmobile, because it is a Batmobile. Um, it's made by Horizons. There will be a little bit more in the description here, but uh, I have to say it, don't we? You know it. Now, we are on Facebook. We are TOB Modeling. Um, it's for face uh, for model building enthusiasts like ourselves. So come share your tips and tricks, share your builds, share your kit reviews. Just be a part of the community. We're also on YouTube, but stay with us, stay tuned as we build the 1980 Batmobile from Horizon. Same bat time. Same bat channel. Honored from T.O.B. You get Gary's from Gary's Paint Booth. And we are the, the T.O.B. Brothers. Brothers. Straight out of Runner, Virginia. And Gary, what does T.O.B. mean? Thinking out of the box to make a box. Now, <laughs> this time we did think outside this box to make a box. Uh, the original box was actually really huge. Uh, so I took the box art, because uh, it was just uh, taped on there. And we put it on this other box to make this box so we can think outside of that box. So I'll let you watching the video. So I'll let you go back and watch the video to figure that out. So uh, but this is the nineteen eighty Batmobile. It was debuted on Super Friends cartoon. But this isn't just any kind of model, is it, Gary? Look, it ain't styrene, it's straight up resin. This is made by Horizon and when they say solid model, it's a solid model. It's like a brick. It's a brick. There's no room for lights or sounds but this this did come out beautiful it's a great uh, uh model to add to my batman collection because you know i'm doing batman models now i know this for you critics out there the, the that's not the correct bat figure for that but i wanted to put one on the display but uh gary talk about what it what we really had to do uh to work on this uh resin batmobile all right number one when you sand or cut on this resin you want to wear a mask then take it and soak it 24 hours in tire bleach cleaner what you can pick up at any like auto zone old rallies and then i'll use the tamaya primer for metal or plastic lay it down let it dry 24 hours then go back in and start using the Tamiya Gloss Blue and sprayed everything. If you see right here, the paint chips real easy. It does, and that happened when I was building it. It actually built pretty pretty easily, but uh, some of the parts didn't really uh, stay there until I used super glue. And of course, you have to be really careful when you use super glue with models because they're usually in no do-overs with super glue. It's, it's done. But it did chip a little bit. We're going to touch that up. But it, uh, we, uh, when Gary uh, brought it back over, he brought it with the decals on. Because you put the decals on and then you put the clear coat over it. And that really makes that uh, decal really stick on there. Uh, so he did a really, really good job on this. Um, and we definitely wanted to share our build with you. Uh, and share this... 1980 Batmobile. Now we are on Facebook. We are TLB Modeling on Facebook. So please uh, come and join us. Share your builds. Share your tips. If you've done resin kits, we are doing another one. But uh, continue to just be nice and be a part of the community. We are also on YouTube. Um, please join us and subscribe and like to our channels. Good. Just tell your friends and to your friends, friends, just keep sharing our videos. Yes, and just help us out. Because we love building. We are we love building. We are model building enthusiasts. We're actually part of the Roanoke Modeling Club. 
also. Um, but uh, do continue to support us. Now, just for you fans out there, we are actually neighbors. We we live literally right next door. About, what, 10 feet? <laughs> well, it's more like 500 feet. But, uh, you know... The, Pretty close. And, we, and someone mentioned about how loud I talk. That's because I'm half deaf. But uh, so I usually project louder than I should. I, I know the phone picks up the sounds pretty good, but we're we're good friends, we're neighbors, and we're model building enthusiasts. But uh, continue to join us as we continue to build Batman models. Gary's going to be putting some of his builds on on our YouTube channel. He already put one, but uh, continue to uh, join us and stay tuned. Same T O B time. Same T O B channel. 